morning. Um, I'm Miss Pero. I'm from Windsor Elementary School, and today I want to teach you how to make a timeline. One of my favorite activities I see in the kindergarten hallway is always their timelines because you see lots of fun birthday um, birth pictures and things like that. So I thought I would teach you how to make a timeline using your school pictures, or you can use any picture that you can find. All you need is a piece of paper. I actually repurposed a, a poster that was in my house and I just cut it in half and I used a line. Every timeline has a line um, and a title on it. So you want to title it whatever. And then starting at the beginning, um, you want to also name your hashtags. Now this timeline doesn't end here because obviously my life continued on past this. But what I did is I took some pictures and I put a piece of tape on the back of them and I can put them in order like this. So you just kind of like hang up here, I'm in preschool. So, and then in, in the 80s I went to first grade and then I went to third grade and then I skipped a bunch of years and I had my first year of teaching in Hudson, Ohio. So there's my timeline of um, just some random pictures I picked out of a photo album. But if you don't want to do that, there's other ways to do um, timelines. I found a local library um, magazine. It came in the mail. And like this. And a, a bunch of activities in here have been canceled because we're all home for a while. So what I did is I decided to cut some things out that looked interesting and I made a timeline of just different events that are happening in May. Now I know they're all canceled now, so but you can do this at any time. You could do it in September or October. Um, find, a lo find a magazine that comes in the mail like this and look at all the things that are happening. So here is something that's happening on April 4th. Um, they're gonna take peeps and they're gonna make catapults using, um, I think popsicle sticks and make and um, catapult peeps around. Here is reading with a dog. You can read to a dog at the North Ridgeville Library. Um, let's see, this one is touch a truck. I think they're gonna have all those big emergency vehicle trucks and kids can go out and touch them on May 9th. However, I, again, these things have probably all been canceled, but it's just fun to make a timeline of things um, that are happening at your local library. This is um, how to learn sign language. I found that on May, let's see, May 12th. Uh, make a board game. I'm really excited about that one. Um, I would have definitely gone to that one. I love board games. And, um, oh, this is where they were gonna teach you on May 23rd how to play Pokemon Go um, around the city. However, again, these are all probably canceled, but it was just another way to make a timeline. Again, this line continues on, right? So it doesn't stop. Um, these are just things that are happening at my library. And the last one, or one that you could make up all on your own. And now I found some Star Wars stickers in my son's class, in my son's bedroom. Um, you can make up your own type of story timeline, like this bad guy over here. Well, I don't even know if he's bad, to be honest with you. I don't even know these characters. Um, and then he got in a fight with this guy. And then I think this is Princess Leia. She comes into the story, does some things, and then oh, and this happens. And then, wow, look at this guy. And I know R2-D2, so they put him in there. And then they all fly away at the end. So just making up your own kind of story timeline with first, then, next, and wow. Okay, so that's always a good thing to do. Um, if you don't have any stickers and you don't have any pictures that you want to use, you can always just take a blank timeline like this and draw your pictures with a pencil. So like this one, I was going to take the book Green Eggs and Ham and then draw little pictures about what happens first, second, third. Like does he wanna eat green eggs and ham? Did he say yes or did he say no in the beginning? Well, he definitely said no. So that's the first part of the timeline. Um, again, this is like a story timeline. It's just with a pencil and piece of paper and your favorite book. So enjoy making timelines um, at home with your family. Thinking of all of you.